Hi everyone, and welcome to this new Touch Design Quick Tip. This will be about tracking the movement and the silhouette of someone in front of a webcam. Usually, for an installation, you might use, for example, the Kinect. This is the example of uh, an installation I'm working on where we use the Kinect to get this silhouette image. It's working really well with the Kinect, but of course, there's always uh, situations where you can't use the Kinect. Uh, for example, this installation will also be placed in another environment where there's sunlight coming in and it's behind a glass, so a glass panel. So Kinect doesn't really track anything uh, in that situation because of the infrared sensor it's using. And finally, there's also all those moments where you don't ha really have a Kinect uh, with you, so maybe you want, just want to track uh, something with your webcam. So let's dive in and look at how we can do this quickly. So this is a simple uh, video of me moving in front of my webcam. So this is how we're going to work. First off, we need a cache. So we're going to use only five images in cache. We don't really need more, and otherwise it's going to look kind of weird. So uh, using a cache, what it really does is simply um, allowing you to use images, uh, frames from before uh, from before in the video. Not sure if that's really clear, but as you can see, the uh, position there and there are not exactly the same. There's actually five frames of differences. So you use a cache select and right there and use cache index minus five since I'm caching five images. And if I use composite, it's going to be a little bit clearer here and and I use difference. So this is going to do a difference between the two images. As you can see, uh, when I'm moving, you can really see the difference between the two uh, the two images. So there's five diff uh, five frames of difference. After that, so now I don't truly really have a background anymore. That's kind of what I want. I'm then going to use a level, uh, bring it up uh, its brightness up to two. And then finally, a chroma key, which is very important in this case. Use the value and bring that value up. I'm actually going to pause. So the more you bring that value up, the as you can see, uh, the more the black pixels uh, disappear of our image. Of course, there's still a little bit of uh, black pixels everywhere, but uh, as you can, as you will see right afterwards, uh, it might not be a problem. We will see uh, with the rest of the compositing, and we might need to bring that value up. So this is pretty good. The next thing we're going to do is use an edge. So right there, edge, and bring this strength uh, really high. So let's bring it to yeah, ten is good. And um, as you can see, there's still a little bit of uh, problems in the image behind it. But the next thing we're going to do is use a blur. And we will need a filter size of 120, so very high filter size. And as you can see, uh, this looks like a really more like a like a ghost than anything else. But the, as you, we did in the last tutorial, uh, we're going to use after that a level and bring our brightness up and contrast up too. So brightness is going to be 8 and contrast is going to be 5. So as you can see, we have a lot of those kind of problem here. So we need to bring our chroma key minimum value up again. So up to a point where you don't see all those kind of image artifacts. This looks good. And as you can see, I have the shape of myself moving around. Maybe bring it a little more. Uh, yeah. Of course, you can play with those uh, minimum values again. Uh, and it's going to depend also of the context in which you're, you're placing your webcam. But I think it's a cheap uh, way in terms of material, but also in terms of resources for your computer to emulate somehow the silhouette uh, silhouette you can get with a Kinect. It's great for a, a situation where you don't need a really uh, really specific uh, shape uh, as much as 
uh, you can have with the Kinect. So I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave me a comment uh, if you did. And also, uh, if you want to know other tricks, uh, also let me know what you want to learn. And as usual, take care and see you in the next one.